music has always been a big part of my life. In fact, I've already written two music related posts on this blog and made a passing mention in another about playing drums in my school band. So it should come as no surprise that I enjoy going to music stores. I'm a drummer and percussionist first and foremost, but I also play guitar and have dabbled in other instruments. Julian is also a guitarist. After all, musicians tend to be friends with other musicians. In fact, if you didn't know, he composed all of the music you hear in our YouTube videos. Our shared passion for music has long been a frequent topic of conversation and an excuse for outings. You see, there's a guitar center on 14th Street, right near Union Square, that we started visiting in high school. Like all young musicians, we like to go and check out all the guitars that we couldn't afford. This has not changed, by the way. Some of those guitars are more than twice or even three times as much as the most expensive guitar I own. Julian knows a lot more about the technical side of things, so he usually has some idea of what he wants to try. I just go for what looks cool. That's not to say I don't notice sound differences. There have been plenty of very expensive guitars that I've actually found pretty lackluster compared to cheaper ones. Music's all subjective, of course, but I do feel there's definitely a sort of bragging rights aspect that is involved. That is, there are almost definitely instruments that have better counterparts for less money. But if you get the more expensive one, you get to say you have it. Look, buy what you want, I'm not here to judge. Just enjoy your music, whatever you play it with. Even with drums, I have to be honest and say I go more off feel and ear than anything. The super technical details of things just aren't for me. You can tell me a million times that one model of an instrument is better than another, but if it doesn't gel with me, I'm going to ignore it. And I think that's how it should be, to be quite honest. The gear doesn't matter as much as what you do with it. After all, plenty of artists have gone far on a budget. Paul McCartney's famous Hofner bass, for instance, may be iconic, but it wasn't exactly high-end equipment when he got it. It was just what he could afford at the time, but he still plays it to this day. Cheap or not, he makes it sound like no one else can. You might think that with all this talk about how we go about looking at instruments, we spend a lot of time trying them out. You'd be wrong. I can't speak for Julian, but as for me, for some reason I tend to get, I don't know, shy, I guess? I seldom plug in any of the guitars I try, which isn't exactly the best way to shop for an electric guitar. They all sound pretty much the same without an amp. And I almost never play any of the demo drum kits. I'm no stranger to performing, mind, and I don't have any sort of stage fright. It could be, perhaps, a desire not to make much noise. Not that that makes a whole lot of sense in a music store, of course. Or maybe it's the music store equivalent of gym timidation, except instead of really fit people scaring me off, it's really talented guitar players. It's a bit silly, I know, but since it's rare that I'm seriously shopping for a new instrument, it doesn't really stop me from enjoying myself. Plus, these days I've found myself more interested in the acoustic room than the electrics. Like I said, Julian and I have often bonded over guitars and music, but ironically enough, we've never actually played together. It just never really worked out for us to be in a band. With about two hours by mass transit between us, plus the fact that transporting a full drum set is impossible on the train, it just hasn't been in the cards. That said, I've never been opposed to the idea, so maybe someday things will align. After all, music never really dies, right? Who's to say the beat will never find us? Thank <laughs> you.